Linguistics is the scientific study of language. Linguists study how language changes over time, how cognition shapes language and language shapes cognition, how people learn language as children or adults, how social interaction shapes language, the physiology of how we produce sounds in the mouth, some linguists like myself document languages that are endangered or understudied, and others, also including me, study the patterns that we see over and over across languages and try to explain why we see those patterns. Linguistics is not about learning lots of languages. Though because linguists love language and we often use another language in our fieldwork, we do tend to know more than one. And knowledge of linguistics definitely helps you learn a language better. Linguistics is a science because it describes the way that people actually use language and the way that language actually works, rather than trying to dictate how people ought to use language. We base our linguistic theories on empirical facts rather than people's attitudes about languages. Linguists aren't grammar police. We don't run around telling people to not split infinitives or to don't use double negatives no more. Instead, we explain why it is that double negatives arise over time, like I did in a recent video. Or we conduct a survey about the attitudes that people have towards double negatives and how people perceive someone when they use them. In linguistics, there's nothing better or worse about any way of speaking or any dialect or any language. All dialects and languages are created equal. Some language varieties are given more social prestige than others, certainly, but from a linguistic perspective, all all of them are just as equally well-structured and rule-governed. So what can you do with a degree in linguistics? Linguistics teaches you how to do data analysis, so you could be a data scientist or data analyst working with big data sets. Linguists also work in advertising, doing something called sentiment analysis, analyzing how people are reacting and what they're saying about your product. You can work in natural language processing and create speech recognition technology or voice assistants like Siri or Alexa. You can help create language learning technology like Duolingo or Rosetta Stone or Rocket Languages. You can be a speech language pathologist or therapist and help people with speech deficits improve the way they speak. You can even be a lexicographer and work for places like dictionary.com or the Oxford English Dictionary. Give me a follow if you'd like to learn more about linguistics.